Hey everyone. So I'm back after a long time. Um, I guess uh, I made my last video a few months back. It's been three to four months or more. I'm sorry for that. But uh, today I'm again back with some interesting topic. Uh, topic which is C E H versus O S C P. Okay. So I'm going to discuss uh, this video in three parts. First will be what is the difference between C E H and O S C P. Second is which certification should you do. when you are starting into certificate uh, like cyber security field and third will be is it possible to start into cyber security without certification and uh, basic uh, education or graduation so, okay so without further delay let's start so i am amos and uh, today uh, we'll start about this is a one of the biggest discussion in all time right uh, first of all what is ceh and what is oscp is this a good comparison so starting with this is not even a comparison a good comparison because ceh and oscp are totally different fields and they deal in different things i mean not different field but they have some different skill sets like if you want to be ceh they if you want to do ceh they have some different course okay different syllabus and if you want to do oscp they have some different syllabus now talking about the uh, levels now they both are on different level i i i will say that ceh certified ethical hacker is one of the basic level certification and oscp is uh, when you want to jump to a little advanced not advanced i would say a little advanced more than certi- more than uh, basic theoretical knowledge right because ceh certified ethical hacker only contains theoretical knowledge it has only th- theoretical knowledge but as i have done ceh okay i have done ceh i have watched the course i learned everything uh, but what i saw in uh, ceh was they only have uh, like whole course is uh, theoretical okay you will receive some books you will receive some videos and you will also receive labs to practice all the things right but videos i guess videos are not so much uh, good not uh, helpful because they just uh, the person the instructor on the ch video he just explains each uh, each thing he see in the slide uh, so you don't need to uh, like uh, see the that video right i i would prefer whenever you take ch course just go with the, go through the book that's all i would say because if you are going through the video that will waste your time and you won't get anything and if it's like you would like you don't like reading and you want some um some basic info about the chapter then you can go through the videos of ceh so ceh has only basic knowledge they have only basic knowledge nothing special in that right and uh, you if if you want to start with the basics of everything like how the osi model what is the osi model what, what is the tcp model what are the comparison between these how many networks are there what are the topologies of network so they contains each and everything so i would suggest that whenever someone someone is starting they should go for ch the reason behind that is they contain theoretical knowledge but they have all the basics we need to start okay and about oscp talking about oscp oscp has practical knowledge they contain each and everything which is practically needed in the corporate world or in the real world right so when you will start reading it i have uh, heard from the people i have seen few books also the books the course contains only practical knowledge basic knowledge of theoretical but they mostly contains practical and they convert it to theoretical right so if you want to learn basic real penetration testing from how the linux uh, uh, linux services work what are the commands you need basic commands uh, through which you can make changes batch scripting how can you make your own tools okay how can you make your own tools and then coming towards what are the basic methods of penetrating into a network what are the reconnaissance method they contains each and everything they have all the tools so they will t- t- tell you through the book and the videos that how to actually hack into the real world for security purpose we are talking about cyber security here right so they will tell you that how can you actually get into the cyber security world and penetrate into the network for the client so that is basically for practical knowledge right so that's how oscp is oscp is better for practical knowledge and it is more uh, advanced than ceh ceh is really basic course they contains all the basic things but 
believe me that if you are if you think that you know basics then i think i uh, that is not the right thing because when you will go through the book there are many things you don't know about networks you don't know about force you don't know about physical security right so there are two things so what i will say is first if you are starting as a beginner go with ch then go to oscp if you know everything about uh, like basic then you can directly even go to oscp people say that oscp is really hard and you can't crack it okay i'm not certified but what i believe and what i've heard from other forums also and other people also that oscp can be done now talking about which certification you should do first first ch or oscp now it's not important that you always need to do ceh first which is certified ethical hacker okay first the reason behind that is because if you know all the basics of linux all the basics of linux services all the basics of scripting bash python and uh, you know how you know how to use burp suit you know how to use metasploit then you can directly go to oscp oscp is uh, offensive security certified professional okay so you can directly go to oscp and uh, you can start your like every certification journey through that but if you don't know anything if you know really basic things like how to make a payload how to hack facebook these are the basic thing then that is not actually basic basics comes networks basic comes like uh, some uh, operating systems uh, red hat working linux working everything basically unix so that's when you need basics so you don't, you have to go with ch right you should go with ch and then you should go with oscp now talking about the third thing is it possible to make your career and is it possible to start your journey without certification or graduation it is possible how is that now talking about me i'm not certified right now i have taken the course but i'm not certified till now because uh, i'm not giving the exam i don't know why i don't feel like giving exam right now because i'm preparing for some other things right so <clears throat> when you were talking about cyber security cyber security is not all about no no like certification and graduation right cyber security is basically about knowledge and skills certification and graduation are uh, something which makes you eligible to do job okay so that you can um, like apply for jobs or these things and you can even start as a freelancer if you want if you have knowledge if you have skills right so it is not important to do certification so what are the free resources or how should we start if we don't have certification i will tell you few places and i will also give all the links if i forgot some uh, links on the video i will give all the links in the description from where you can learn from yourself without getting certification there are few way, uh, ways you can even get certification with the basic certification that will be not be valid like in all the corporate but that will be good so starting with how to learn right as everyone says there are basic things needed like linux operate uh, network basics of operating system python bash scripting these are few basic things which you need right so starting with uh, how can we start right i would tell you one place which is pentester lab pentester lab is a nice place for getting started because pentester lab has everything from basics to advanced in web application mostly mostly in web application but they have linux also they have a pcap which is wireshark all the packet capturing for networks these are basic things you should go for pentester lab and they have free boot camp where you can learn all the basic thing they will give all the resources for that i will give all the uh, links in the description you can um, go there and like uh, uh, go through all the things after pentester lab you can go for pentester academy pentester academy has near about 1500 defense labs and when you're talking about 1500 defense lab you get some thing to learn right they have good courses after pentester lab you can go for pentester academy if you you only go to the, like these two things you can start your journey easily i'm talking about easily okay so i will give all the links in description and now if you have any query about anything related to these you can message me on instagram i know i have been reply i don't reply many time because i was not active on instagram for a few days past few days so but i will try to reply for the, for your questions and about your doubts right so follow me on instagram the link will be in description and uh, that's all for today's video thank you for watching i hope you learned something and i hope you will support me in future videos also subscribe my channel